Now, Mamelodi Sundowns defender Gruan Kekana, in collaboration with Sizwe Khadebe, founder of Impilo 0720 Center of Excellence, yesterday hosted a charity tennis tournament to give back to the community of Mamelodi and Pretoria. The tournament at the HM PGS Stadium, Mamelodi West Tennis Courts, with the young participants taking on a five kilometer color run around the stadium before partaking in the day's activities. Well, we're joined in studio by Grant Kekana. Grant, appreciate your time. Tennis is not where I would have pictured you, certainly in this uh, fundraiser. Talk to us about why tennis. Yeah, so the interesting thing with our foundation, um, we're not just restricted to football. Um, we're trying to cover all sporting codes. And at the time, you know, when we met Cizwe, he was telling us how he's planning on hosting a tennis tournament um, just for the kids because he's been doing such a wonderful job mm. with his um, center um, where he takes kids off of the streets you know, and teaches them valuable lessons. And we, we saw this partnership and collaboration as something that, you know, we could work with. Well, it's obviously an important thing, particularly where we're celebrating youth uh, this month. How would you gauge the success of the tournament? I mean, let's talk about uh, what you were able to achieve, the numbers that came through as well. Yeah, we actually got more people than we anticipated. Um, I think it went well. You know, we got uh, people... There's a young player, a young aspiring tennis player called um, Kulo uh, Monti, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, who came through, um, you know, and gifted one of the, the kids that were doing well on the day with uh, a package, you know, and we were also we also got the presence of the president of the Gauteng Tennis, of Gauteng Tennis, you know, which was a, a good thing because we hadn't expected them to come, you know, but they, they, they came with their presence, and I think the kids... Overall, on the day, you know, we're just happy and excited to be interacting with us, um, to be taught valuable lessons um, on the day. So let's talk about those lessons. What are some of the values that you taught these youngsters that came out yesterday? Um, a lot had to do with respect, discipline, you know, and hard work. You know, um, we know that not all of them will make it to, to become professional tennis players, mm -hmm. but in whatever advancements they want to make in life, you know, uh, those lessons can be carried through. Now let's talk about what you are doing in the local communities. Is there room for more individuals, more sports stars like you, role models, to do a little more? No, definitely. Um, I think we, we must always remember where we come from. You know, um, like townships built the people that we are today. You know, and for us to get to where we are, we had to go through the townships. You know, so when you get there, you shouldn't forget where you where you come from. So I think even in us doing what we're doing, we're we're just saying to the next person or the next professional start to also go back and give give back to to where you come from because um people and the, the kids in the townships don't get as much <coughs> recognition as we do you know to or given platforms to 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 advance to where the, we want them to be um so yeah in and what we we're trying to achieve with the foundation i think so far we're doing well um and we can only hope that you know even other players like you know uh, actually recently when when Bloemfontein Jabo Mokwena hosted something um, Motobi Mbala hosted something so it's just something to say to other sports stars you know give back to the communities um, you know help the kids out so that they can live out their dreams so let's talk about the the mix of the youngsters that came out uh, yesterday uh, gender mix boys versus girls and also that uh, age range yeah um, so it was from under 10 to under 16 um, those are the different age groups. Um, there weren't no open age groups um, yesterday. Um, so, yeah, our thing is just the youth. You know, we want to start them young um, because and build a, a formidable base for them to, you know, just to achieve their dreams. So, I'd imagine that lots of questions were asked by, by these youngsters. I'm not quite sure if they talked to you about the dominance of uh, sundowns in the last few seasons and, uh, you know, where, where it's all going. What are you looking forward to next year? No, definitely. Next season, rather. Yeah, definitely. The kids had a, a lot to ask, you know, and I was more than happy to answer them. Yeah, but what we can expect from us next season is uh, more of the same, just a lot more improvement because we know where we fell short this year. And yeah, we're going to try and do our best. Obviously, CAF Champions was a super important to you, was a super important target. What are some of the lessons that you've learned from this season that you'll carry forward to next? Yeah, it's, I think that's the most difficult competition to, to play in, um, you know, when it comes to football in Africa. And, you know, um, I think what we can take um, 
from this previous campaign is that even when we went and played away, we still played the same style of play, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and teams commended us for that because usually teams are known for backing off, you know, and, you know, parking the bus. And, you know, we came and we, we gave it a good shot. Um, we just were unlucky because we, we were knocked out without even losing a game, you know, which is a um, testament to the mm. goal difference um, that we'd like to have out of, out of football. So it makes everything fair. Bafana Bafana making it to, to AFCON. Uh, obviously, the issues around your position in the team, are you looking to solidify uh, your position as a Bafana Bafana player? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's always been my dream to play for my country, represent my country. So whenever I get given the chance, I need to grab it with both hands. And yeah, that's where I'm looking. We, we did well to qualify for the AFCON next year. It's going to be difficult, you know, to make the final 23 squad. But this is why we play the sport. You know, if it was easy, everyone could do it. And yeah, it's going to be a, a tough ask, but I think I'm ready for the challenge. Grant, appreciate your time. Grant Kekana, Melody Sundowns, a defender, speaking to us uh, this evening.